In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to make pin buttons in Inkscape version 0.45. Okay, it's worth noting that I got the idea for the screencast from a website called psdtoots.com and you'll want to look for the Photoshop button maker tutorial. I would advise uh, the viewers of this screencast to head on over there and check that out. That's a great tutorial. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to first, I'm going to start off with the circle tool and I'm going to draw a perfect circle. And I'm going to make it a, just make it about 410 pixels there. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is make sure that I turn the stroke off. Okay, I'm going to right click on this, duplicate. I'm going to hold the control and the shift key down. I'm going to bring that in a little bit. I'm going to change its color so I can see it. Okay, I'm going to take this red copy, select our fill and stroke dialog, and I'm going to give this a stroke. I'm going to make this about an 8, and I'm going to make that stroke white. Okay, now what I'm going to do is change this just a little bit, just a little bit bigger. There we go. Now I'm going to remove the fill and I'm going to make this stroke. We're going to give it a radial gradient. And I'll push this up about like so. And I'll run this in just a little bit, about like that. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And I'm also going to give this about a 1% blur. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is grab a circle tool, and we are going to draw a an ellipse. And I'm going to make this ellipse about 270 pixels by 175. There we go. And I'm going to make sure that I rotate this kind of on the same degree as the gradient on our stroke. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Bring that in about right there. Okay, now. I'm going to make that white and we're going to give this a gradient. Pull this out just a little bit more. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now we're going to take our full circle the one that's to the very back and we're going to make it all black and we're going to give this a radial gradient. We'll select edit and I'm going to add a stop. Our very bottom one we're going to change all black. The one in the middle we're going to make it about a 120 and we're going to give it about a 25, the transparency. And for the very top, we're going to make it white. And we'll make it completely transparent. We'll select our gradient tool. And we'll adjust the gradient a little bit here. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. All right. Now I'm going to take this whole thing and group it together. 
and I'm gonna make three copies oops slide these all over here and we'll zoom out just a little bit okay I'm gonna take this one and duplicate it again slide it down ungroup and all I want is the circle that's behind. You get something about like that. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate this. Okay. And I'm going to bring in my first image. Now the image can be anything you want it to be. I'm going to bring in a United States flag. I'll select the flag. I'll go to Object, Pattern, Objects to Pattern. Now I can delete this image select our circle, go to our fill and stroke dialog and select our pattern button. Now I can double click this and find our center point of the image and kind of adjust this a little bit. I could be wrong but I think this only works on uh, PNG images. I think if I were to put anything else in here I, I'm, I'm not able to select center points but like it, like I said I could be wrong there okay now that I have the image I'm gonna send this all the way to the back select my image I'll select my first button we'll go to our align tool I'll select last selected and we'll center that up and that's your button that's pretty cool looking I think okay let's duplicate this again we're going to bring in our next image, image of James Dean. And we'll go to object, pattern, object, pattern. We get rid of our object, or I'm sorry, we get rid of our image, we'll select our object, and we'll select our pattern button. I'll double click this, find our center mark, and move that down. Okay push this all the way to the bottom select our second button and I'll center that up now we have a James Dean button okay we'll duplicate this again and we'll bring in our very last image select pattern objects to pattern and we'll get rid of that we'll select our object pattern I'll double click, I'll adjust my image, something about like that, there we go, push that to the back, my image and my button, and I'll center that up, and now we have a root 66 button. Okay, now what I'm going to do is group the button and the image together individually. There we go. I'll take this here and I'm gonna make this about a 2% blur and probably give it about a 70% on the opacity there. It's going to become a drop shadow. I'm going to duplicate that twice. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to rearrange these buttons here. Okay. We'll put that one about right there. And for a drop shadow, we're just going to put that about right in there. Okay. Send this one to the, well actually I'll send this one back, back again. Get us something about like this here. Okay, I didn't need this second shadow after all. Alright, I'm going to take these three pin buttons group them together. 
I'll center that on the page. Okay, now let me zoom up here. Okay, I'm going to draw a background. We're going to make this background all black. Make sure that we set this back to 100%. And I'm going to give this a radial gradient. And we'll reverse it here. Now let's go backwards. Let's go the other way. There we go. Okay, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, and I'm going to adjust the gradient. Pull this out here. Pull that out about right there. Select that, and we'll center that on our page. And I'm going to push this all the way to the back. And there we have it. I've made three pin buttons, kind of used an American theme there. And that's how you make pin buttons in Inkscape. Thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.